Susie Cole here, and welcome to this week's edition of Inside the Box. Our positional preview wraps up this week with the final look at the Hounds' attack on top. After a successful, unbeaten road trip to North Carolina to kick off the preseason, what better time than now to take a look at who will be putting the ball in the back of the net for Brant and the boys. As we mentioned last week, Brant's looking to ramp up the pressure this season with a plan to relentlessly attack the opposition's back four. Up front returners Corey Herzog and Siobhan Walsh will be joined by promising newcomers in Kay Banjo and John Manga. Herzog, of course, powered much of the Hounds' attack last year, leading the club in goals, minutes, and points, as well as tying for the lead in assist. We asked Corey about how hashtag HurtsSoGood plans on following a successful first year in the Berg. Yeah, I mean, the forward group we have are great. I mean, Kay's strong, Johnny's strong, fast. So, I mean, it's really good. It's good to battle with them and everything. So it'll be interesting to see what Coach does, who he pairs up and all that. So it'll be a good year for goals. You have two home matches this weekend. What are you most excited for for them? Just playing and winning. Uh, it doesn't matter who scores the goals. As long as we come out with three to six points, we'll be happy. Outside of Herzog, the Hounds up front have plenty of size in three six-foot-plus players in Banjo, Manga, and Walsh. Each showing their fair share of promise, Walsh was last season's PDL MVP, while Banjo and Manga are both former MLS Superdraft picks. The sky appears to be the limit for this talented trio. You're playing with an experienced group of forwards at your position, so tell us about what they bring to the game. Um, obviously a lot of experience. Uh, Corey and Kevin have been here for a while. Um, I look up to them, and obviously like everything is still a competition, but at the end of the day you have to look up to the people that are here before you and work off them. What has your experience with the Riverhounds been so far? I mean, it's been a great experience overall since the first day we've come in here. I felt really welcome. I mean, the great group of guys have already been here. made us feel comfortable. It's been a very smooth transition. So. Been liking it so far. You had two preseason matches last weekend. Um, maybe tell us a little bit about your experience with them and what it entitles for the rest of this season. Um, overall, I think it was a great experience. I think we had a good weekend collectively. I mean, there's definitely some things that we can work on and get better, but that's what this preseason is for. So we come here every day for practice to work on the things that we didn't do well. And the next weekend is another opportunity to just get better. So uh, I think we use every game to just get better to move up to the season. Last but not least, our single game tickets go on sale at 10 a.m. on Friday. And there's much more to look forward to this weekend with back-to-back 1 p.m. tilts here at Highmark Stadium. The Hounds will welcome Akron and Duquesne to the pitch. Fans are welcome to come and watch all the action as both matches are open to the public and there's plenty in store for you all to enjoy. Our pub will be offering $2 draft beers and mixed drink specials, while our team store will be having a 15% off merchandise sale. And if that's not enough for you, be sure to enter for your chance to enjoy 4th of July fireworks by the Mon by winning tickets to our match against the Independents. That's all from me. I'll see you Saturday for some preseason fun. I'm Susie Cole, and that was Inside the Box.